Throughout the pandemic, Youth Emergency Services got creative, making sure homeless teens had the food and basic necessities they need. We provided different services during COVID. As things have opened back up, YES resumed normal operations. Executive Director Mary Fraser Mind says teens are back in person and it's time to expand. We know that there's a lot of youth experiencing homelessness and we turn away youth every year and we have a waiting list for young people. Youth Emergency Services plans to renovate the former Omaha Housing Authority offices near 27th and St. Mary's, turning it into a a campus for homeless and near homeless youth. Right now, YES has services spread across seven different locations. Fraser Mind says it can take up to 30 minutes to get between some of their facilities. We will consolidate everything and put it in one place so the youth can access any service quicker and easier without taking a bus or taking a bike ride or walking. The new campus will also allow YES to help more people. Right now, the organization has four shelter beds. The new facility will have 16. It will also provide more room for other programs, like the Street Outreach Center, where young people can get a meal, a hot shower, and simply hang out in a safe space. We'll be able to expand the number of youth we serve at the Street Outreach Program because we'll have more space. and. We think this will draw young people to our programming. The new campus will also house job readiness programs and offer both physical and mental health care. And it's located in a part of town that Fraser Mind says makes sense for the youth they serve. The location is just amazing for us. Um, we've looked at other, the board and the staff have looked at other locations, but this is urban core. It's where we need to be. Alexandra Stone, KET.